are the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by that bank. Two of those brutally virtuous men. God protects. Nice tune. Best cure for the beast, a witcher. Can I help you? Collins. Always. <clears throat> right. Welcome to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? I'd like to change some coin. By all means. Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. I'm afraid I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit A38. For more information, please go to window number one. All right. Where's window number one? <laughs> Welcome to Chan Family Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of Permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. <coughs> Happen to know where I can do it, then? Hmm. Let me think. Perhaps upstairs, in records, or downstairs in the archive? You must ask them, sir. Do just that. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank. Come back. As you wish. Safer place than a bank. What can I do for you? Our bank is the pride of all Beauclair. All in order?
What is it? Folk are hard at work here. I need permit A38. Any chance you could issue me a copy? Fiddlesticks. I've just run out. Wait, really? Of course not. In truth, I've never had anything of the sort. This is the archive. Listen, say I made a small donation to a certain member of the bank's staff. A bribe, sir? How dare you? I truly cannot help. This is the archive. That'll be all. Thanks. Yes, yes, it's what they always say. And once you're upstairs, do tell them not to send every lost fool with a problem to me. I've work to do. Damn bureaucracy. Yes? You have a concern? What can I do for you? All an orca? Always. <clears throat> right. Yes? Can I help you? There. What is this? Back off the queue, sir. <laughs> Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always right. How might I help you? This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your Form 202, please. Form 202? Just what are you trying to pull? Sir, I'm not pulling anything. Just following procedure. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202, as stated specifically in Ordinance N60. Please, go to window number one. <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. That'll do, sir. Jumping the queue. How dare you! You cut in front of me, sir! Give a crap. You boar, you churl! I will not stand for this! Just you wait, I'll teach you some manners! Go on, hit me. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside, now! Simple to be humble. Under 
Huts in line, then resorts to fisticuffs. It seems they've settled. I shall teach you the meaning. You cut the line, sir. Kiss a dog's ass. No safer place than a bank. The archive. Come on. Where the hell'd she go? Hair pomade. Need to follow the scent. Could be the lead I need. That little number likely costs more than we make in a month. I truly wonder who she got to lend her that much coin. So you see, she claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta huh? take care of at window one. You cannot one. be serious. I too find it hard to believe. For Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? We're on our break. Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something We're I... on break. Ah, you try to be polite, it just never gets through. Got no choice, I guess. Need to wait till they're done with their break. I was You must wait. They have the break now. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? Permit A38. Though, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. But, as we are both forced to wait, fancy a round of Gwent. Why not? Let's lay him out. Now, that I understand. I'll start arranging my deck. <clears throat> Deceased player, I see. Congratulations. Hmm. As your prize, I shall reveal to you my foolproof method for cutting through this bureaucracy. <laughs> Nothing ever comes of using the normal channels. I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery. Nothing works. Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do? Be kind. Be pleasant. This... And only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. But muster up some flowers, some perfume. Well, you will resolve your matter lickety split. Right. Certainly worth a shot. Good luck. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? Need Form 202 to get a copy of Permit A38. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me? Wasted a lot of time because of you. Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? Geralt of Rivia. Let me find it. Get on, Gemel. 
Here it is. Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue Form 202. Excuse me? The applicant in question has been declared dead. Officially. Now, do tell me, sir, how am I to enter that into the ledger? Like musky aromas, right? And how would you know that, sir? Smelled it. When you walked by. That scent you wear? Lovely. So I thought to myself. Bet she'll like this, too. Oh, but I... I shouldn't, really. Please, accept it. As a token of my thanks for your help with my file. Oh, you, sir, are quite the charmer. Ah, please, wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfanelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. <laughs> You tell him, then he disturbed, but no, always some bugger who can't stand to wait. Plow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Been a bit busy, but I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... No problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. Chanfinelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin, now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the IR? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Uh, her enlightened highness, she's hired you. Mm-hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account right now. Uh, uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. So how's the trade these days, Master Witcher? Yes. Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shite. Wine sales are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Folk out with the duchy have me any notion how to say quote de blessure and all that. It twists their tongues yes. in bloody knots. Makes them ashamed to ask for it. Done. Deposit box 256. Last you on the right. What the hell's this, Chenfinelli? Box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So when we learned you were dead, Master, we, uh, circulated yours. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was hee-haw left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, nee, Master Witcher, never! I wouldn't dare! Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper. I swear it on my nana's beard. Got a week. 
Not one day more. You shan't regret this, I swear. I'll rustle it up. Have it ready for you in seven days. Mm -hmm. See you then. Famed Geralt of Rivia, are you not? Is it true? In Novigrad, they eat tripe in oil. Yuck! Ah, if only I was healthy. Somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm. Won't learn anything else here. Map Triss sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Saint Retour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of the Nile once lay. Need to explore the location. Must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store.
humor someone's got.
Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Gargoyles sure don't look willing to help.
in one direction. The right portal, maybe? Alright, now to find the next portal. Right, now to find the next portal. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Crystals. Should mount them in the megascope. Missing two crystals. Mm, this crystal must go here. Missing one last crystal. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up.
This crystal must go here. All crystals in place. Show me what you got. Just need to pick an entry. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did, in a sense, come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. The 
years of experiments. Be such. Sacrifice. All for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism. That which I meant to restore to him a normal life. Only deepened his mutations. Further augmented his speed and strength. Rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. So, Professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. No point going in wearing full gear. Gotta drop my armor, leave my weapons. Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out.
or sell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. <laughs>